Happy New Year, Underlord here. A little update on C3PO. Sorry, I haven't done much work last week or so because uh, I've had a bout of bronchitis. I've been pretty much just sleeping, even when I'm supposed to be working. Well, I um, finished polishing up and getting all the doodads onto C3PO, and as you can see. Um, may not be able to see. Let's, let's see. I did get the uh, arm pieces together and put on on, uh, on both sides. Uh, these pieces were m missing one side so I ended up taking a uh, shirt pin, it comes with all your shirts, and some pieces of aluminum tube and cutting those up and making my own. I think they actually look better than the stock pieces. Um, this one here too. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, I'll take a picture later and insert it if uh, you can't. Um, and uh, I've been polishing the gloss black over the primer so that when Alclad goes on it'll look good. And uh, I just finished painting the eyes. Now I'm not lighting this one. So what I did was I took some uh, fluorescent yellow and mixed it with white. To, to get an effect that I think came out pretty good. Um, once this dries, I'm going to dry brush over it to get the, uh, the bars over his eyes a little bit more um, presented. Uh, and I'll probably do that with, uh, and see if I can do dry brushing with Alclad. If not, I'll use a, a tester's gold uh, over his eyes. Um, I think he's coming out pretty good. Um, polishing. Uh, an irregular surface like this, not so easy to do with uh, these pads that I got. Uh, the micro pads are, uh, they need to be cleaned up after I finished. They, uh, they got in there okay. What I found for the larger areas and some areas where there was still some irregularity from the paint was uh, putting a buffing wheel on the Dremel stylus. Worked out pretty well. Uh, I was able to get his legs. Can you tell I've been painting? That's my new airbrush compressor kicking on. Let me give it a second here. Okay. Um, what I did do uh, was put the Alclad Chrome on the uh, right leg. Um, uh, going to need some chrome, some clear, and I can tell because of the imperfections in the casting and my paint job, I believe I am going to make this a very dirty version of C-3PO, but the parts, um, the parts where uh, the chrome will show through and the gold will show through, will, will, there'll be spots where it's really nice. Um, I don't know how well you can see that, but... Uh, it looks pretty chrome. Um, there are still some bumps and, and uh, little dribble marks, uh, mostly from, believe it or not, the casting, not from my paint job. Um, I sanded some of them out. Uh, I didn't get them all. Lesson learned when you're dealing with Alclads, there's no such thing as enough filling, sanding, and polishing. Um, this is after uh, three coats of primer, sanding, polishing, and filling in between each, uh, and then two coats of gloss black polishing after each one of those. So the fact that uh, it's not perfect after all of that means that I'm probably not going to be doing a lot of Alclad work because that was a lot of uh, polishing and rubbing just to get an okay surface. Maybe on a car body where you've got a lot more smooth surfaces, that would be a, lot, a little easier. But then again, how often are you going to paint out flat on a large surface anyway? So that's it for now. Uh, I've got to go paint the wires for his belly. I noticed a couple of them are red. Some of them are bundles of wires. I think I'm going to take some magnet wire and make those bundles um, instead of just using the guitar string. And uh, then uh, after the eyes are dry brushed over the, the glowing portion, um, 
I'm going to make up masks to go over the eyes and then paint the gold out plaid on the top and the bottom and I can start assembly. What do you think? Um, all in all, I'm pretty happy with the results so far. See you next time. Hey everybody, it's uh, Tuesday the 9th and I'm taking a quick break at lunch. Uh, I haven't gotten a lot done because like most of the country, I've been sick. I had both the flu and then I had bronchitis and I'm still working out the bronchitis so I'm working from home. That allows me to give you this little update. I did get the Alclad sprayed onto C-3PO. Now one of the other things that I did is uh, I'm a fan of the painting clinic videos. Um, I, when I originally stopped making plastic models I started making um, lead figures for uh, the gaming figures but I never gamed. I just liked painting the figures. Uh, so I enjoy watching his processes and his tutorials. And I decided to use some of his techniques um, for shading to make C-3PO look a little bit more scale accurate. And I'm very happy with the results. Um, the uh, the Alclad Gold was a little dark. Um, perhaps if you look at the bottom you can see how dark the, the gold was. Uh, but then I used three different layers of um, Mostly gold. I, I did uh, 10 drops of gold to two drops of, sil of chrome uh, as the wide pass and then I moved up slowly to 50-50 um, in smaller areas and I think it makes it really look shiny and a lot more scale accurate. So here's the, uh, here's the lower portion and as you can see I left the grind in lines uh, from removing the strips and uh, my research shows that that was actually a ribbed uh, piece of material underneath there so it'll lend a little bit more accuracy to the build and uh, here's the upper torso and the head I think the effect works out quite well it's almost uh, imperceivable I did not go crazy uh, just enough to make him look a little bit shinier than he really is. Uh, and I'm about to remove the masks from his eyes. So I'll be right back with that. Hey, I'm back. I removed the masks for his eyes. And lo and behold, uh, some of the paint chipped up. Uh, so I'll have to do some repairs on his eyes. But... Uh, the general effect, I think, is, is pretty good. You can see his eyes are much brighter than the rest, so it looks like they're glowing. Um, hopefully I'll be able to touch those up cleanly and uh, get started with assembly. I'm going to do a quick job of putting him on the base. I'll put the two parts together so you can get a, a view of that. There he is, he's coming together pretty well. Um, we have uh, some bundled wires that are going to be going in here in a bright red. We have some darker red wires that are going to go in there. And a whole bunch of gray ones to try and um, fill in the spaces. And some bright white ones, uh, both thick and thin. So we'll see uh, how that works out probably in the next couple of days. Uh, touch up the eyes. Next step, um, probably do some detail painting. I need to do some flat black in the glove area and um, in between the joints. Um, thinking about doing uh, a lot of uh, weathering to uh, C-3PO because I don't know how well you can see, but the um, the Alclad is not perfectly smooth everywhere, so if I make him dirty, it'll look appropriate that it's not perfectly smooth, right? All right, so there's C-3PO so far. John, uh, Bad Grendels, thank you very much for your encouragement of saying it looks like it was going to be a challenge. Challenge accepted, and I am working hard at trying to get this one to look pretty darn good. Um, I'm happy so far. I am a little depressed that I didn't uh, go the extra mile and and uh, cut out his eyes and put an LED in there. Seems like it would be a simple modification. 
The reason why I didn't do it is the head is one piece and drilling that out and working with an LED inside and trying to get um, the, the grills over his eyes right just uh, at the time I was thinking of making it an easy quick build and I decided not to do that. Hindsight probably would want it. If I redo this model I'm definitely going to do it because I think it would look really cool and simple. One LED, a couple of grills, pretty cool. Alright, thanks and see you next time. Hi, Underlord here. Still fighting that bronchitis, but uh, we did get a little work in. Uh, I started putting the wires into C-3PO, attached him to the body, and I think the wires are selling it pretty well. Uh, because I used guitar strings and painted them before I put them in, if anybody's going to try this trick, uh, one thing that you're going to need to know is... Um, paint comes off of guitar strings very easily when you're bending them into place. So uh, I will have to do a little retouching. Uh, there's a little filling where I had too many holes um, for the wires and the wires to put in there. Uh, I think that's a sufficient amount of wires. I did not do much in the back. Uh, most people are going to look at it from the front anyway, so it's not going to be that big of an issue. So he's ready for uh, cleaning up uh, uh, doing some dry brushing on the eyes and starting the weathering process. Now, as for a base for C3PO, I've decided that I got this uh, $2 cherry base from uh, Woot.com uh, a couple weeks ago, and I think it's just about the right size for C3PO. I'm going to drill out some spots for uh, magnets, mount them in here. Uh, tape off the sides and make a sand area so he's standing on Tatooine. The scene that I'm replicating with uh, his stance here is a transport. Hey, over here! So, um, so that's his stance. And uh, I don't know if you can see him on the stand there. Uh, I think that uh, stands about the right size. Um, so it's it's. Uh, it's weathering time. We'll touch up here, touch up there, a little uh, putty and clean up the seams, those extra holes that I had there, um, and uh, weathering and base and, and it'll be done. So until next time.